Hello everyone! I am here, live. Let's see if I am actually live. Hello, I see some people. Hello everyone. I see some people coming on. I'm just, um, I'm just seeing if I can find myself live on Facebook as well. Um, and for, oh yeah, I see myself. And for whoever um, doesn't know me, uh, it's Josette here today. And I am the designer of the cute C dice. The, well, cute character dice. I see some people uh, jumping on already. And I can see myself live too. So that's good. Hello. Hello. Just checking to see if the, um, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, oops, oh, my camera is, wait, one moment everyone, I'm just, my camera is being a bit funny today, just trying to adjust, adjust it slightly. So you guys have a bit of a closer look. Okay. Hello. Okay, I think my um yeah my my screen is a bit closer up so which is great okay i see everyone coming in from ontario uh, mn Teresa from mn good afternoon goedenavond for the people in the netherlands and here i am uh, yeah, and I think my screen is good too. Hi. Good morning. Good morning for some people. Yeah, well, it's midday here, so almost morning. Well, the morning has passed. Um, today I'm going to make a phone card with um, the new Christmas release that will be uh well they are already available so here's the i'm going to be using the santa today so and the stamps so the, the christmas dies are already available at some craft stores which is great and then tomorrow they will also be available on the elizabeth craft designs website so for today, I'm going to be using the, the uh, 1990 Santa Claus. So that's one of the new dies. Um, I'm, oh, his head is here. And then I'm also going to be using the... Uh, oh, I didn't wrote, wrote that down on my list, but this is the uh, fireplace. Uh, the number... I don't have that one here, but um, Anya can maybe put a comment in. Um, yeah, Anya is here too for any comments and put in links. Um, so yeah, the fireplace. And then I'm also going to be using the pull tab size, the 1936. And the fitted fish tails, not this one, but this one, uh, the 1694. And the stamp sets, Holiday Treats, CS287. 
and yeah so and then yeah um please like comment and share this video to win a uh, $50 gift certificate now I don't have the winner from last week um Anya can you put the winner from last week in the comment or we will, we will announce it later anyway so today I had an idea of making a Santa Claus card um or a card with Santa poking his head in the chimney or the fireplace and so yeah that's what I started and I think the card turned out great I'm not going to show you guys this time you will see at the end how it turns out but I think it um it it turned out great so I did quite a bit of prep work already for this card because it it is um there's just a whole lot of pieces and uh, things so I did yeah quite a bit of work oh Kong, so it looks like Christine is the winner congrats Chris I see Belinda making a comment congratulations Christine and yeah congrats okay so let's get started I uh, yeah I hope everyone's Monday is going well so far it is Halloween here Halloween in yeah so big plans for tonight with the kids um, okay so um, so Santa Claus poking his uh, head through the chimney now the chimney in this particular die was a little bit too narrow well Santa could th fit through it but I had an idea to make a pull tab card so therefore I um, I just used the fireplace so not the actual chimney at the top and um, I cut my pieces already here we go gray cardstock I did gray cardstock um, yeah so that's that's part so um, yeah the, the fireplace and then these are the the, the stones so you can so it's embossed lines you see and then you can add more stones and these are the stones for around um, around the opening there now um, I, I like to um, cut one more I see that I didn't do that but um, in the sample that I made I cut one more that's just the top of the chimney um, so so it gives a bit of dimension so let me quickly do that and then so because I'm going to color this one one second is quickly going to cut the top of the chimney one more time um, it just gives a bit of a nice dimension and uh, you don't have to cut the whole fireplace here you go so you don't have to cut it all you just you can just only run the top of the fireplace and see and then you'll just cut this off which i will do so you mantles oh the mantle belinda yes it is the mantle what I'm talking about. The mantle piece, yeah. I guess you can do it from a different color too. It can be a wood mantle. In this case, it is a stone mantle. I hope you guys can see me well. Okay, so I just cut off the top bit here. See? That's it. More layers are always good. I agree, Femke. Okay. So, um, and then what I'm going to do is just add a bit of color. And I'm using the hickory smoke. So, I'll just color the fireplace a little bit. 
guess I could have prepped a little bit of that too, but I didn't do that. But now you can see, I'm just coloring a little bit of the fireplace. I love the fire, it added so much energy. Yes, I agree. It's a fun dye and um, yeah, I wanted to have a bit of extra pieces to go with it. Like the stones is always fun. Um, yeah, so I think it turned out nice. Uh, yeah, and then the mantle. The mantle piece. Is everyone celebrating Halloween tonight? Well, I guess in the Netherlands it's it's already later, or it's it might be going on. Oh no, it's it's eight o'clock in the Netherlands, so it's late. Yeah, we will be celebrating tonight, and then uh, my kids have a Halloween parade at school at one thirty. So. After this live, I'm going to head to um, to their school. And then, um, yeah, they have some sort of a Halloween parade. And then they're going to do a small performance, Annika was saying. I'm not really sure what they'll be doing. But, um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. Annika uh, wanted to dress up as a kitty cat. So... Um, that's, that's what, uh, that's what she'll be doing. Well, she, that's what she, she will be. And then Tom wanted to, uh, Tom wanted to be a, uh, ghost. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we thought maybe just a, just a superhero costume for school would be great. And then tonight we'll he can be a ghost with the with all the sheets and we've got sheets that will cut up giving out candy for the kids have fun with it yeah yeah and then um yeah but annika was trying on her her suit this morning the kitty cat suit it came with some ears that you just clip in her hair but they were a little bit big. She thought she, she said, "I'm look. I look like a cougar." <laughs> so instead of a, a a kitty cat, she thought she looked like a, a cougar. So um, yeah, <laughs> but um, it was fun. Okay, this is done. Uh, I'm going to watch. Ghosts are cute. Yes, yeah. Ghosts. Ghosts are cute. I'm also going to color this piece a little bit. Why don't I use some black for that? Otherwise, I'll be coloring here forever. See, that's the inside of the fireplace, which I will actually use in this case. Okay, there we go. Coloring, done. Tom's costume is easy. An old sheet with holes. Exactly, yes. An old sheet with holes. That's what we'll do. We we'll have, we have a couple old sheets. So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, so, fireplace. Done. Um, now, we're going to assemble the fireplace. So, I die cut the extra stones twice because i wasn't quite sure how many i needed um and um yeah oh actually here here is the die uh i know that this this if you were to do the whole chimney this is exactly what you'll need this row here to add the stones to the chimney now, I wasn't quite sure how much I will need it for the fireplace, so I just cut this out twice, um, and then I'm sure I have enough stones. And I cut it from um, with double-sided adhesive on the back, so it's easier to assemble. And, um, yeah. 
And still, we never get them either because our house is quite dark. Okay, I think I uh, see some comments about Halloween. Yeah, so in, in our streets, uh, there, there aren't that many uh, uh, trick-or-treaters either. Um, because, yeah, they're, it, well, well, we do have a, a lot of kids, but they're all a little bit older. And um, we also, yeah, so not that many. And there's a specific area here in Banff where everyone goes to. And it's absolutely mayhem. And we haven't actually taken our kids there yet. Probably in uh, next year, probably. It's, it is just, it's, it's so busy. And uh, I'm sure they'll love it. But uh, so far we've just done trick-or-treating in our street with a few of the neighboring kids. And it's always been really fun. And um, yeah. And the amount of candy that they, they, that they get already, I think it's enough. Okay, so I added the chimney. I Okay. I think email angel at ECD. Yeah, yeah, you can email angel or yeah, info. It'll come to angel. Okay, um, now I'm going to add the stones. And I first add all these and then I'm going to add the stones later for around the chimney. So let's see. It's, re it's really easy to see which one so this is see you can you can tell it's exactly the same the same size so I'll just add these mm. hello Sandra welcome I still see some people coming in that's always nice so these ones go here this one goes here. Great, so only four out of ten. Uh, this bigger one. Well, I might actually have. I might actually have enough for one. That's here. And the little one is here. Hi, Sue. Welcome, Sue. You're not late. You're only a few minutes late. You didn't miss that much yet. I'm still working on the fireplace. So, <laughs> finally found you after waiting for a notification. In that. Oh, that's strange, Benny. I don't know. I guess sometimes, yeah. That's, that's the funny thing about Facebook sometimes. If you are waiting for something, it doesn't always come. And then, yeah, and then you, you're going to have to find us. Okay, there. And this. I should actually stand up, then I know I can do it straight, but that's okay. Um, one. here and then okay so these are a bit narrower so I will need my second set of stones one here because these are for the chimney and they're a bit narrower I remember from designing those this one goes here and now I'm going to do the stones for around the chimney so you see this is a corner one and the reason why I do this first, because these kind of, some overlap a little bit. So. And this one goes all the way till the bottom here. Sending you a tray. And this one goes here. Just try to mind it. I am trying to... Uh, Keep an eye on the comments, but I'm also focusing on my chimney or my fireplace. And there we go. This one 
and goes here. Hoi hoi Marga and Lily. Welcome and thank you for tuning in today on this beautiful Monday. Um, they were expecting rain and snow here in Banff. Well, this morning there was rain. No snow yet. Um, but it could come tonight. We don't know. It could be. We already had snow, but um, that all melted. So, and then we had a bit of rain over the weekend. It was, it was not very nice. It was rainy and dark. So, yeah. Not really nice. But now the sun is shining. So, that's nice. Okay. This is what I have left. We'll save it. Now, uh... I already ordered mine. I guess you are talking about the dice. I'm just going to find a paper towel to clean my desk. Because um, it's a bit... Oh, and I have my some water here. It's going to clean my desk. There we go. Thank you, Penny. There we go. So, now we're going to assemble and and I hope hope you guys are getting the idea. Santa is going to poke his head. So I'm going to add a pull tab behind there and Santa is going to jump in the chimney. So, for Santa I uh, prepped also already quite a bit. I cut all the pieces. I colored his face. So I cut his face with white soft finish cardstock. I um, colored it with tattered rose and his cheeks with barn door. And I'll just grab all my little pieces, the belly. Um, his, uh, all the rest. Uh, oh, I need two boots and two hands. Now, the only thing I don't see in my little box of prep stuff is his, oh, here's his beard. Okay, so else you sent me a super cute uh, Santa last night that she made and she used felt for the beard of Santa. I was like, okay, now I need to use felt for the beard of Santa because that is just so much cuter. So I did that and I did adhere the felt to cardstock and then die cut because it, it wouldn't do it if I, um, it wouldn't die cut if I just did felt and adhesive so I added uh, some felt with double-sided adhesive to cardstock and here are her, are his brows somewhere look let's see oh that didn't came oh okay anyhow here are his tiny brows see I'm just gonna take it off I hope you guys can see it Oh, am I showing it right? Okay, this one. I just gotta cut a little bit because his and his belt. Angelique, I will show you in a little bit. This one does his belt is uh it's I'm not using his belt this time. Because you don't really see it. So I'm just trimming his eyebrows. They were a bit hairy. Okay. Um, I think I have all my pieces. Yes. Let me just watch a few more comments. I love the idea of the felt for the beard. I think it, the trick is nice. Good tip, just said. Okay. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm just taking a sip of water. In the meantime, 
because I'm talking a lot. Um, so I'm going to assemble, and the idea is that Santa is jumping or face forward. So this is the piece from his jacket. So and normally I would actually I normally I I usually always do a little bit of let me see if I a little bit of tumbled glass on the white because it kind of I feel that it looks nice. So a little bit of just around the edges. You'll see it a bit more. Okay. So his body, this piece, I need to stand up. This piece is from his jacket. There we go. Then we have these two from the bottom of his pants. A little bit of this too. And then another piece. And there we go. Okay, so these guys go here. One. And then the other one. And I put adhesive already on the back too, so it's easy peasy. Here we go. Love using the felt on the beard and sweater dies. Yes, for the super fun for the sweater as well. And um, yeah, for really, really nice. Okay, we're not using this one. That's for when he's holding his um, his his rucksack with all the toys. But so just these two, and those are for the sleeves. And this one too, just a bit of tumbled glass. And this is for his, the piece for his, uh, uh, his head. Just got the Santa and sled. Oh, nice. You'll have so much fun, Christine. There we go. And his pom-pom. I don't even know if you call it a pom-pom, but I think it's a pom-pom. Okay, so let's do the head. Love how the fireplace is coming out. Thank you, Dorothy. This is the top piece. And this little guy, can you guys see it all okay? Or do I need to move this up a bit? I try to put my um, camera so it so it's zooming in a little bit more, but I don't know if it's good enough. If he's upside down, his coat will cover his face. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you'll see, you're you're gonna see you're gonna see his face. Wait until he comes alive. It's uh, he'll he'll be. I'm just going to get some uh, glue. Uh, where are my sticks? My oh, I have one here. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue for his um, for the arms. Okay. Uh, okay. So here are his arms, and they're fly. They're oh. So these guys go like this, and I'm going to. Oh, sorry, everyone. One arm, one hand, and 
another one. And then the, the little pieces for around his sleeves. Uh-oh. Did I just lose one eyebrow? Hmm. We'll see. We'll find it. And these guys for around his sleeves. And oh, and this one too. It goes here. Okay. Now his face. And I think I did lose an eyebrow. Let's. Oh, no. It's tucked under his head. Oh, there we go. So the face, I um, did color his. Eyes already, mouth, nose, and his um, his uh, glasses. Oops, too late when it turns. Okay, so, and I just colored this with black. So, his tiny eyes, they are tiny. So, I'm using a tweezer, because they are really tiny. Ooh. There we go, one eye, and the other eye. Is there a Mrs. Santa Claus too? I haven't watched, oh yes, yes. Wait, I'm going to put his eye on here, and then I will show you all Miss Santa and Mrs. Claus. Because we have Mrs. Claus is right here. I did that Mrs. Claus in last week live. Yeah. So here's Mrs. Claus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we needed, I mean, we've had another Santa in our previous release. But yeah, Miss Claus was missing. So definitely this time we included her. Now the beard. Just using a bit of glue on here. So there we go. Oh, he's got a big beard. As Santa has a big beard. Then the mouth. It can fit right in this little, yeah, it's kind of cut out for his mouth. There we go. And then uh, we'll add his mustache. Goes right there. Just using, again, a little bit of glue. And that we, we've had some really nice samples already with Santa and with Miss Claus on, on our blog and on our Facebook already. Some of the designers have posted some really nice samples already. So if you haven't seen those yet, go check them out. Because, yeah, we have some really talented designers. Okay, the nose, double-sided adhesive, so I'm just going to stick it over top just letting you all see so you can all see it then um and same for his glasses just has double-sided adhesive so um yeah i'm just going to add that on top of his nose oh i have a bit of felt there we go that will just Stay like that. Mm, I have the other scent and now this new set. Love all of them. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, they're... The other Santa was cute too, but sometimes you need a new Santa. Just a new one. Just to change it up. His head. There we go. I need a bit of space for his eyebrows. 
and the eyebrows I glue those two there one and this felt that I had I it is quite you know how there's different felt some are a bit thicker some are very thin this was a little bit thin so it shows in the eyebrows but here's his face can you all see it Zo zooming in there we go such a jolly face <laughs> yes tracy thank you okay so now this part is going to go behind here everyone I just said, I'm so sorry, despite Els reminding us of the time change effect in the life, completely forgot. Oh, Debbie, you have time change already? Yeah, I think we'll have time change this weekend, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think it is Sunday, which is, yeah, which is good because it's so dark now in the mornings. There we go. Really dark. So with a bit of X, so with an hour changing, it will be good. Super cute Santa. Thank you. So, oh, his legs. Okay. Bit of glue here. I need a glue bottle. That's so much easier. With a tiny... Because I'm, I'm just doing this with a toothpick, or a, which also works, but I just need a little glue bottle. Okay, his feet. And I think you guys are getting the idea. Santa is flying in the chimney. Like that. Okay, so a bit more glue here. There we go. Flying Santa. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Need a bit more glue. There we go. This is it. This is Santa. So much fun thinking of putting glossy accents on the boots when it gets when I get oh that will be really nice. November five fall back. Okay, yeah. Liking him upside down. <laughs> we had one hour more yesterday, but I slept like two hours. Oh, that's not good, Femke. Femke, that's not good. I mean, for us the time change. Well, I mean, the kids. It's not that they're. They'll just wake up when it's time to wake up. So when their body tells them that it's time to wake up. Okay, I'm just going to let this one dry. But it is ready. So I'm just going to put it aside. And now it's time to assemble our um, cart. So how are we on time? I can't even see. But oh, I have to hurry up. I have 20 more minutes. So, the pool tap dies. Um, uh, there is a YouTube. Uh, so, if you go to our YouTube channel, there, I there are some videos already on how to use the pool tap die. But, um, yeah, you can see it here. There's two tabs in the die set. This is a narrower tab. And this is a bigger tab. I'm using the bigger one because Santa is quite big. And um, yeah, so I will show that. First thing I did, I already prepped. See, so I um, cut a rectangle f using the largest die from the fitted rectangle die set. And I used the Reminiscence Book 3 because I kind of wanted it to look like wallpaper. And I thought this was a really nice paper for that. Then what I already did here, I cut a little slot at, well it's not a slot just little uh, round opening because that's where we're going to 
uh, uh, pull our, be able to pull our tab. So I did that already. And then I, there's also different length of slots in the set. And I used this one. If you were to do, if you were to do like a, a long, um, like let's say a slimline card, you would use this one. So different length, and I cut this one already about an inch from from the circle at the top because in the back here we're going to add this little. It's um. It's just a little piece of cardstock, a fold that it's it's also in the set. You'll cut it out. Uh, we're going to add that to the top so your uh, tap will stay nicely in the in the track so it won't wiggle around and we'll add that to the top here so that's why we want that space here you see now i just realized that i did not cut a piece yet let me just measure because I need one, I need to back this, this piece on a piece of white cardstock. So I'm going to have to cut it five. Oh, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, five and a half by, sorry, I'm just measuring five and a half by five. Hmm, that's, no, sorry, five and a half by five. Uh, yeah, five and a half by five. Just, I'm just quickly doing that. Um, because I forgot. Okay. So. Five. By. Five and a half. Yeah, I hope I'm doing this right. Let's see. Okay, that's correct. So yeah, five and a half by five. Funny size, but it is for this card. That's the size that we're doing. Okay, so I die cut two of the, actually one tab and then I die cut one more, just just the length, not not the tabs itself, because I like to make my tab a little bit stronger, so it doesn't fold when I'm um, when I'm pulling it up. So I'm just going to first fold these guys over, fold the tabs. There is an embossing line, so I'm just going to fold them i just go to wallpaper shop for samples okay i'm not following the comments anymore i'm sorry but just don't use them with photos they are not okay i'm sorry everyone if i've missed some comments we i will get back to that later and we also have anya here so if there's any questions i missed I apologize. Okay, and then this one goes here. There we go. And this one goes like this. Okay, so do you guys see the idea? This is how it's going to go in the slot. I just want to make sure that it's the nicer it's fold, the better it's it goes on pulls on the track. Okay, um, like I said, I was going to make this a little bit stronger. So let me get some tape. Okay. So I'll just do a little bit of tape here. And actually, I don't need it to be really long. So I'm going to have to cut a little bit off in the end anyways. And that's why, so you can, yeah, you could, you can trim the tab on the size that you need. Okay, so this, I'm just going to add one extra, just to make it 
a little bit stronger. Okay, can you all see this? And the tap is going through here, through the slot, and then the folds go like this. There you go. And what I do in the set is this little circle. And I cut that from white or from a piece of cardstock. And I I just glue it over here. So so it's, it makes it just makes it a little bit stronger again. Um, and it will hold down the tap. So that's uh yeah, that's that's why I do that. Okay. So cool how that works. Yeah, it is it's such a fun. You can make such fun interactive cars with uh with this um with this die. I really like it. So yeah, that's I'm just going to put that little circle over top. I'm actually putting back the arrow that it cuts out as well. There we go. Let's see. Yep. Okay. I was wondering if it would. Okay. And that's where Santa is going to. Um, that's where we're, where we're gluing Santa on. Now, this is going on top of this, but we need a little bit of space. I'm just testing because I put a bit too much glue, I think, there. But anyways, oh, let's do, um, let's do the little fold at the back. I hope you guys can still follow what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. I'll put a little bit of glue here. And then this one goes just here at the top here. I put my, I just measure so it's, so it's coming st straight up. Make sure there's a bit of space on each side of the tab. And then I fold it like this. So that way my tab is staying in place nicely. So that is why that little, oh, just a little bit of glue. See, so that is why that tab at that little piece at the bottom. We followed just said, oh, thank you, Honora. <laughs> okay. So that is that. Let's see if it's still working. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes if it's if it's if it doesn't go really well, it's because your cardstock is too thick or um I did a bit too much glue here, I notice. That's okay. So now we need double-sided tape. And what I did, I doubled my tape like this and then i cut it in half so i have these strips and i want to make my my cardstock strong so or i want to make this this piece extra strong so what i do is i put a good amount of tape next to the track Uh, same on the other side, a good amount of tape right next to the track. And then um, I, I'll, I'll use the rest. Oh, I have a bit of... I use the rest for um, the sides here. And another piece here and one more uh, here better to have a little bit extra 
and here and two more tiny pieces here okay so a good amount of adhesive on the back here let me see i might just do one more nothing at the top because then um yeah it won't it won't uh there we go so now we're going to back this on the card or adhere it on the card with the white backing the tabs dies are fun to play with i made a few cards i agree sandra they're so fun taking off the adhesive the backing of the adhesive now I'm gonna have to stand up I was already standing actually to line this up nicely there we go and so my my uh, like I said my tab is a little bit too long so I'm just going to cut off oh, just whatever is too long oh I don't want to cut in my card hold on hold on so yeah so this is what I'm going to cut off and then I have um, I, I die cut another of that those circles out of black cardstock and that is just for at the top of the tag it has a little arrow and um, yeah it's just so people know where to pull i'm just adding some glue here yeah i need a tiny glue bottle okay so we fold it around I would love a card like that. <laughs> oh. Okay. That just needs to dry. See, it's, it gives a fun... Oh. I used a bit too much glue. Okay. There we go. Um, now, the fireplace. So the fireplace is going here. And since Santa is coming behind it, we also need to pop this up quite a bit. See, Santa? So it's we need to pop this up enough so Santa can... Yeah, so we have enough space for Santa to, to um, jump into the fireplace. So what I actually did, I, I made a, I did it already. So I, I used double and then I actually used one more layer too. So I will add this one here. Not at the top because then Santa can't come, come through the chimney. And I'm running out of the double tape so I'm just oh just need to so yeah so I double it up and then I'm going to cut it in half Oh, I see that I'm out of out of camera. Here, I'll just pop this up a little bit. And then this one. Oh. You can also use regular fun fun and just add your own exact. That's true, yeah. 
Okay, so this has, this is two layers. And like I said, I need a little bit more space even. So I'm going to cut this in half and add one more layer of the foam. There you go. Just add this on top. And there we go. And one more here on the other side. There you go. So now the flat, the fireplace is high enough for Santa to pop behind there. And um, in my sample card, I actually, what I did, where's that piece of the fireplace? I, I did actually edit this here. Um, so I will quickly do that. So what I did is I die cut a little slot piece of the slot here out too. So let me just die cut that quickly. And then, um, yeah, because that's the, the back. One second, everyone. I'm just going to, I'm just looking for my tape. I use a little bit of low tech tape on there to die cut that. Cause you it, usually there's there's not um, usually there is not uh, uh, any um, wallpaper in a fireplace. <laughs> Although it do, actually does look nice. There we go. So now I just got to make sure that this is, there we go. Yeah, that fits. So first I'm going to put some adhesive over there. Actually, I'm, I'll just use a bit of glue. Just right here let's just test oh okay i'm just gonna cut a little bit just so it see i'm going to cut a little bit of this cardstock off on the side a tiny bit so it will the track will the tap will just run a little bit smoother. There we go. I had to actually do that with my sample car too. And yeah. There we go. Okay. That works. And now we'll add the fireplace that one just goes right over to, over top here there you guys see and now we're going to add Santa So I'll add a little bit of glue here. I use the Kids Choice glue. It's, it's very strong, so that's nice. And then I'm going to measure. Let's see how that's... I think it needs to dry first, but... Yeah. Okay, this needs to dry first. He's catching a little bit on his beard. <laughs> That's okay. Once it's dry. So 
I could I could have used one more layer, I guess, of the tape just to make it a little bit higher. But once this is dry, correct, good, then um, it'll go. Uh, now I wanted to decorate the fireplace a little bit. Uh, in the sets are some fun stockings. I didn't cut those. I didn't prep those, although it would be so fun. So um, that 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 would actually be really nice. Some stockings left and right. But I only cut the um, these guys, and I can always add the um, I can always add the, some stockings later. Okay, so this I was thinking this. And then a little bit of, yeah, some um, Christmas um, leaves. How do you call those leaves? I don't, I, I forgot. So let me add those. This is the cutest card wow, really one. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Thanks so much. Um, okay, so... One here and one on the other side and the gosh how do we call these leaves? It's completely I completely lost it. What we call these holy leaves <laughs> Thanks mom <laughs> holy leaves so some holly leaves left and right and some berries there we go and yeah i will definitely be adding some stockings here later because I think that'll be so fun. Now, I did also um, prepare a tag. And with a fun sentiment saying, ho, ho, ho. So I need to let this dry. And I will add this to this card later. But in the meantime, while this is drying, I will, because I already prepped this live. So I will show you guys. Here's... The finished card, and there we go. Santa going down the chimney. So yeah, everyone, this was my project for today. I really hope you guys liked the live today. Uh, thank you all for watching and um, I'm just watching a few more comments. I'm getting a lot of hearts, which I love. So thank you, everyone. And um, I will see you all in the next live. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and share. And I had to make one more announcement because Els is going to jump on live quickly after I hang up here because she has an announcement to make. So uh, please stay, um, keep checking for uh, Elsa live after this. And have a great Monday, rest of everyone's Monday or of uh, rest of the evening. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.